Kakadosh Boketov. We're continuing with Siman Resh Pezayin. This is the Siman of Nichum Avelim in Bikur Cholim Shabbat, which means are we allowed to visit a sick person on Shabbat or are we allowed to visit an Avel on Shabbat Lolenu? So it says over here like this. The Shulchan Ruch actually brings it down and that it is permitted, the rabbi is permitted us to do Nichum Avelim in Bikur Cholim on Shabbat. And the opposite, you're going to be Mekayim Mitzvah Gdola. You're doing a very great Mitzvah, especially when you're coming and you're going to uh, to visit, whether it's going to be a sick person or an avel, and you're strengthening them, you're giving them courage, right? Or you're coming and you're giving them good advice, right? And even if you already came and you visited them during the week, if you come and you see that if you're going to do it on Shabbat and it's going to help, again, it's always going to be permitted. So it says, now one second, that means even though it could be that maybe when you're going to come, you might feel bad, right? You might start feeling distressed or you might start feeling, right, that, uh, you know, sad because whether you're, you're visiting the sick person or you're coming and they're suffering a lot or you're visiting the, the Avel, he comes and he says, still the rabbis came and they permitted it. However, though, he says, if you could do it during the weekday and you don't need to do it on Shabbat and there's no necessity whatsoever to do it during the Shabbat, obviously try to do it during the weekday and don't do it on Shabbat unless you don't have the time and you're not able to do it beforehand. Now, if right now we came and we permitted to do the Bikur Cholim and the Nichum Avelim on Shabbat, so therefore the same halacha would apply Yom Tov and Cholom Moed, you're also allowed to do the same thing. Because it's not any worse, it's the exact same thing. Of, oh, obviously, Cholom Moed is even lighter, but Yom Tov is going to be the same thing as the Shabbat. Now, which one comes first? Nichum Avelim or Bikur Cholim? So you have two mitzvot, Nichum Avelim Bikur Cholim, which means that you could visit a sick person or you could visit the house of an Avel, and you cannot do both of them together. He comes and he says, you should do the mitzvah of Nichum Avelim. Right? This is actually brought down in the Lacha. The reason why is because Nichum Avelim is actually a chesed with both. Hachayim vehametim. It's the niftar, the deceased, plus the people that are still alive, which are the mourners. So since it has both mitzvot there, that's why that takes precedence over Bikur Cholim. Nevertheless, he comes and he says, if right now, Beotosha, you cannot do both mitzvot, the mitzvah Nichum Avelim, because of a certain, so then obviously you could do Bikur Cholim and you won't do the Nichum Avelim. So let's say that you have both of them, but right now you can't do Nichum Avelim. It's not the time of doing it, right? Nichum Avelim, and sometimes they have a time. And now you could go visit this person in the hospital, but now you couldn't do both. But right now you've got a technical issue. You can't do the Nichum Avelim. Obviously you're allowed to do the Bikur Cholim without any problem. Now when you do do this on Shabbat, and you're going to the house of the Avel, or you're going to the house of a sick person, or the hospital, whatever the case is, on Shabbat. So what are you supposed to do? So it's brought down that you're supposed to say, Shabbat imilizo kurfua kerova lavo. Now, the Shulchan Aruch actually comes, and he doesn't say this part, right? But the, the Rama brings it in, right? Because Mar- the Maran brings, right? He says, Shabbat imilizo kurfua kerova lavo, merubim v'shiftu v'shalom. Now, the Ramah brings down, Yesh Omrim De'en Tzrich Lomar Eta Seifa, which means there's two versions. The first version which Maram brings down is Shabbat in Nizok, which means that it's Shabbat, that you're not going to come and you're going to start screaming out to Hashem. And therefore, in the merit of that, this is the explanation of the Prisha, at least, in the merit of that, Refua Kirova Lavo, which means that the Refua will come quickly. So he comes and he says, the Ramah says that you don't say that. And Minag Sfaradim Edoto Mizrach, Right, also is the same thing that we don't say it as well, which means even though Maran does bring it down and the Ramah says not to say it, our minhag was not to say it like the Ramah, which means we only say Shabbat in Zok, and we don't say more than that. Right, the same thing will happen by the way with Nichum Avelim that we're going to say Shabbat Yimil Nechem, right, the exact same thing, right, or that's what uh, Shabbat Yimil Nechem, or we just say uh, Yom Shabbat Tiruchamu, that's what we're doing because again. We're not doing these things on Shabbat. Now, if right now, this is La Salacha, if right now the Shiva finishes on the Shabbat, which means that they come and it finishes the Shiva on Shabbat morning, so therefore the Minhag was, is to take him out, right, of Avelut on the Shabbat morning before Shachrit, in order that he would be able to come and to get the Aliyah. Remember that Avelim do not get an, an, an Aliyah when they are in the Shiva. Usually the Minag is to call up another family member that's not in mourning, and therefore they will do the Ashkava for the deceased. However, though, the Minag was that the first time afterwards, that's when you give the Aliyah to the person that's in Avelut. 
Here, the fact that the Avelut finishes on Shabbat, so therefore what happens is in the morning already before Shachri, they will take them out, but by taking them out before Shachri, now they will be able to get the Aliyah in the Shachrit of that Shabbat morning, and that's what the Minhag is, in order to make sure that they're able to get the Aliyah, and they already finished their, um, their uh, Avelut. A wonderful day. <laughs>